hi everyone in uh, today's video on ship stability i'm going to explain to you uh, the relationship between dead weight and displacement so you may find the maximum draft up to which the ship can be loaded in a port of a particular density so without further ado let's get into the question uh, there is a handy sized bulk carrier vessel with a loaded dead weight of 32,000 tons. So the loaded dead weight is 32,000 tons. I will explain what this term means. And a light ship displacement of 6,500 tons. As you all know, light ship means the vessel is empty. There is no cargo in it. It only includes the weight of the ship structure, the machinery, basically no cargo. All right. And the ship is going to load to her maximum in a summer zone port where the water density is 1.018 tons per metric cube so oh, it's a summer zone and the density is given to you it's not sea water density it's a density of 1.018 ton per metric cube you have to keep an eye on the units of the figures given to you in the question if the ship's loaded summer draft so the ship's loaded summer draft that means when the ship is loaded up to maximum to her summer draft the vessel's draft is 10.750 meters and the loaded TPC tons per centimeter of immersion. So every uh, centimeter of immersion is caused by loading 45.4 tons. This means that when you load 45.4 tons on the vessel, the ship immerses by or sinks by one centimeter. You have to find the ship's maximum mean draft in the port prior to sailing. All right. So you have a dead weight of 32,000 tons. Your light ship, that is the vessel's empty vessel's weight is 6,500 tons. You are supposed to be loading to her maximum in a summer zone port where the water density is 1.018 ton per metric cube. The vessel's loaded summer draft is 10.750 and the loaded TPC is 45.4. How much can you load? in this water how much maximum can you load in this water of density 1.018 ton per metric cube all right so this basically means that you are in 1.018 ton per metric cube right so your vessel is currently situated here this is the water density here is 1.018 ton per metric cube all right, remember the summer draft, maximum summer draft, the maximum summer draft is 10.750 meters. All right, so if you load up to 7 point, sorry, the water level should have been higher, but 10.750. So this is your summer draft mark. It The maximum draft is 10.750. So how much can you load in this water if you have to then proceed? So you can just assume that the vessel will be proceeding to a port where or into the sea where the density is 1.025 ton per metric cube so then you load accordingly so that means as you proceed into the sea when the density will increase the density will increase from 1.018 to 1.025 what happens to the draft the draft will decrease that means the draft decreases that means the vessel becomes lighter and the vessel will rise so what does that mean that means that although you can load maximum up to 10.750 which is your summer draft if you are going to rise because of the change in the density that means you can load slightly more than your summer draft because when you go into the sea of 1.025 density your vessel will rise automatically so that means you can load slightly extra more than the summer draft so that allows you to load more cargo that allows your company to make more money so that is the reason that you have to know about this principle here right so when you are in water of 1.018 ton per metric cube although the summer draft is 10.750 you can load more than that because when you go into the sea of density 1.025 ton per metric cube the density will rise and that means your draft will decrease when your draft decreases that means your vessel is going to rise so if you can find out how much will the vessel rise by that gives you the extra allowance this is the amount by which you can load extra more than 10.750 so let's find out all right so here firstly you have to understand the relationship between dead weight and displacement as you probably know so as you probably know that your displacement your weight of the ship 
not empty ship but weight of the ship in general includes the weight of the so let's let's call the displacement a triangle so this is the symbol of displacement it's either triangle or you also some we use the letter w right so we use the letter w i, I write w in another way actually so displacement equals light ship displacement light ship displacement plus the weight of the cargo that can be loaded which is called the dead weight so what is dead weight dead weight is nothing but the weight of the cargo that can be loaded on the ship to bring her to her maximum draft in a certain port up to a certain load line mark depends on which port which load line mark you are in right so in this case of course the weight of the total ship displacement equals the light ship displacement which means the weight of the empty ship plus the cargo that can be loaded to bring the ship to her maximum draft so therefore we can say displacement of the vessel equals light ship displacement which is given to you is 6550 tons plus dead weight which is given to you is 32000 tons this is given to you so the total displacement of the ship is 38550 tons that is the total displacement of the vessel right now you have to find out how much will this vessel rise by so that you can load slightly extra so you already know that your summer draft is 10.750 you can load up to here you can load up to here you know that right but what gives you that extra allowance is this change in the density that will occur once the vessel proceeds to sea so how much is the amount extra amount that you can load this is the this is the rise that will occur of the vessel so if that rise is going to occur you can sink it by that much so even if the vessel rises it will still be up to the summer load line mark right so even if the vessel so if i load it up to the slightly extra mark here this is the extra loading mark if i call it the extra loading mark so as the vessel proceeds into the density of 1.025 the vessel will rise and again bring the water level back into the up to the summer load line mark all right so that is that is the principle behind it so although you are loading little bit over the summer load line mark in water of density 1.018 ton per metric cube when the vessel proceeds to 1.025 the vessel will rise and bringing it back to the summer load line mark which means you are fulfilling the rules of the load line convention so how much is that going to be so that is called dock water allowance the vessel vessels rise from dock water to sea water is called dock water allowance but to find dock water allowance the formula is fresh water allowance multiplied by 1.025 minus water of the density in which the ship is floating currently the ship is floating in 1.018 and then divided by 0 0.025 but i still don't know what is my fresh water allowance this is not given to me so i have to find the fresh water allowance so fresh water allowance equals displacement divided by 4 tpc so when i write 4 tpc i get the answer in millimeter if i write 40 tpc i'll get the answer in centimeter so if i write 4 tpc so 38550 divided by 4 times tpc is given to me 45.4 this gives me an answer 212.28 now 212.28 is millimeter if i use 40 tpc i'll get the same answer in centimeters all right so now i know how to find my dock water allowance my dock water allowance equals my fresh water allowance so i'll keep it in millimeter multiplied by 1.025 minus 1.018 divided by 0 0.025 and the answer i get is 59.44 millimeter but because i'm this is the amount by which amount by which vessel will rise when the vessel goes from 1.018 to 1.025 that means this is the amount by which i can sink the vessel i can load extra so i will add this to my summer draft so i know that the maximum i can load is up to my summer draft mark what is my summer draft mark is 10.750 meters now because the vessel is going to light uh, rise what is my sinkage allowance i call it my sinkage allowance this is the amount by which i can sink the vessel further is equal to this value here but this value needs to be converted to meter first so what will i do i will convert this into meter by dividing it by thousand so 59.44 millimeters divided by thousand is equal to 0 0.059 let's call it 509 meters sorry 
right so because one meter equals thousand millimeters so all right remember one meter equals thousand millimeter one meter equals hundred centimeters so if you need to convert uh, millimeters to meters you need to divide it by thousand so this becomes 0 0.059 0 0.059 meters so this is the amount by which i can sink so that gives me the maximum draft after which i can load the vessel in water of density 1.018 so this gives me 980 10.809 meters that is the answer all right so although the questions seem to be a little bit convoluted a little bit confusing a little bit complicated you can see it was basically a very simple question if you know the relationship between displacement and dead weight and you know the relationship between dock water allowance and fresh water allowance you can basically calculate the maximum up to which the ship can be loaded here if in reverse the ship was going from 1.018 to a density of less than 1.018 um, then of course the ship would have sunk but here of course the relationship here is between dock water and sea water which makes it slightly easier for us because we know the relationship between dock water and fresh water allowance here all right so let me know if this was a easy question or complicated did i miss something was my explanation not good enough i will try to improve on it thank you for watching today's video please like comment share subscribe and i see you soon with my next video bye for